Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Pathfinder Plays and today we are talking about Grounded and the tier 1 tools you can get, where to find them and what they are used for. Let's get into it. So, when you start the game you will have absolutely nothing, but will be able to scavenge for pretty much all of what you need by just walking around. The most common items you will find are peblets, sprigs, plant fibers, and the like. Most of the plant fibers you find can also be turned into woven fibers. Now, different tools obviously do different things, and the tools you'll be using in the beginning are the peblet axe, peblet hammer, acorn shovel, repair tool, and the torch. These are tier 1 items and can be crafted very easily without a workbench. The peblet axe and hammer can be crafted using the same items which are sprigs, peblets, and woven fiber. The torch will require two unique items and they are sap and dry grass chunk. The acorn shovel will require an acorn shell and the repair tool will require quartzite. Finding these ingredients are easy enough. As you wander around and explore the world, you will come across these small stones which are pebblets or small pebbles. Go ahead and pick them up. The next item is going to be a sprig, which is a light, supple sprout that has a plethora of uses. You can find these in green living areas. I specify these areas because there are areas that are made up of mainly dry grass. Creating a woven fiber is also very easy, and important to know as these are also able to craft many items. Like I mentioned earlier, in order to craft this, you simply need some plant fiber, three to be exact, and you can find plant fiber in various forms, for example, these small leaves or vines protruding from the ground. Once you have them, just click the C key, go to the materials tab, and you will see the woven fiber option. For the torch, like mentioned earlier, you will need two other ingredients, the sap and the dry grass. The sap you can find on sticks or branches throughout the world. The sap is noticeable by its liquid and auburn color. The dry grass can be found by simply looking for brown colored grass blades. The quartzite is a bit more tricky to find because it will require you to go underground, which there's lots of danger underground. But honestly, there are some quests that take you underground and also some field stations underground which your tracking device will lead you to. So it's really not that bad or hard to find. In order to harvest the quartzite, you need to already have the peblet hammer constructed. So be sure to have that in your inventory prior to excavation. The acorn shovel, as implied in the name, does require acorns, and you will find those scattered around, but primarily you will find them around the big tree in the yard. Once again, the quest line takes you there eventually, but in case you want to go there first, just look in the sky and walk towards the giant lumbering oak. Now that you know where to find these ingredients and start crafting your starter gear, let's talk about what they do. And it's pretty simple. The peblet hammer is used to crush some objects such as pebbles into peblets, large chunks of quartzite into smaller, more manageable chunks, and acorns into acorn bits for food and other ingredients for a sap collector or armor and more. The peblet axe can be used to chop down grass, some weeds, and be used as a weapon. Although it is primarily a tool, so don't expect it to do as well as, say, a spear or a bow and arrows. The acorn shovel is used to dig for grubs, which are used for various crafting items, and the torch is obviously used to see at night. The repair tool is the same setup as the repair tool in the forest for those of you who are familiar with that game. Totally useless as a weapon and used always for repairing structures. And that's about it. I hope you guys found this guide to tier 1 tools informative. If you guys found it valuable, I would appreciate you considering to hit that subscribe button, sharing it with your friends, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Path out. Thank you.